this cannot just be about who can beat the guy in the White House. Is that how we're going to define ourselves? Is that how we're going to limit ourselves? No. This has got to be not just about how we're going to beat somebody, but how we're going to unite all of us. This is a crossroads in our history. Will our politics get smaller with triangulating and cutting people up, or can we take this moment and make our politics larger, more inclusive? And I'll tell you this. Um, Democratic voters have a great set of choices. They really do. There are such good people running. And at the end of the day, I have a call, an appeal to everyone, which is that when the dust settles and we have a nominee, God willing, uh, I'm that nominee. But whoever that nominee is, we all should commit ourselves to unifying behind that candidate. There's a serious violation of separation of powers that's going on by this president right now. It's something Republicans and Democrats <coughs> all uh, should stand in unison saying this is absolutely wrong and worse than that it's insulting here was republican leaders democratic leaders working to come to an accord on a budget deal and then the president just basically upends the table and says well okay fine i'm still going to declare a an emergency anyway we need clearly we need border security clearly uh, we need to do something about a lot of the challenges we face there but we know that this president's plan is to build a wall that, that even experts down there say we just don't need uh, he said that Mexico would pay for it. He's trying to make Americans with the urgent priorities we have for clean water, for roads and bridges, for affordable college, for affordable prescription drugs. He wants to waste our money on a wall that we don't need that he said Mexico would pay for it. That's wrong.